Governor Adam Sushumale attributed the sources of the nation's democracy to the support of the Nigerian armed forces who have ensured adequate security for the electorates to exercise their franchise. The governor commended them for complementing the efforts of the police and the Department of State Security Service in making those state the safest in the South South geopolitical zone. The governor also acknowledged their sacrifices at restoring peace to the northeast zone that was before now ravaged by the Boko Haram sect. Right now, we are preparing for election in Edo State. Conventionally, this should not be the business of the armed forces. But unfortunately, because of the amount of desperation which polit politicians have exhibited, and there is no need to limit it to any particular political party, you now find yourself happy to complement the effort of the police to guarantee that much desire freedom and security, without which one man, one vote, which is our mantra in this state, cannot prevail. Earlier, the acting commander, Nigerian Army Corps of Supply and Transport, Brigadier General Jida Adamu, disclosed that the combat training is a forum where those in charge of army logistics gather to evaluate their operations, challenges, and proof a solution, which is why retired army personnel are also part of the training to share experiences. The training week is an annual event that is being rotated between the combat service support corps, which are four in number, the Corps of Supply and Transport, the Medical Corps, the Nigerian Army Ordnance Corps, and the Electrical and Mechanical Engineer Corps. The participants, which include the representative of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukoborotai, were treated to a dinner in Government House. Christy McCauley reporting.